Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about price action here today. I came across a few articles that I think you're going to find interesting. I'm going to be starting with this one. It's from Daily Hoddle titled, XRP Rival Has Incredible Potential. Ethereum and altcoins set to outpace Bitcoin, says top crypto analyst. I've also got this article, and it's from the most reliable place to get uh, authentic, well-thought-out Ripple and XRP-related news. Of course, Bitcoinist.com, home of the BTC maxi trolls that live under bridges, staying warm with their dumpster fires whilst eating room-temperature cottage cheese. <sighs> And, you know, it's, it's, it's not just, so there, here's the headline. XRP could accelerate lower as a chart resembles Bitcoin's October high. But this isn't the only piece uh, from the Bitcoin Maxi Troll website uh, that's, that's talking about maybe some potential bad, uh, pri not so desirable price action. You're not just XRP, though. There's this article, same website, and uh, they're talking about a potential drop in this piece from Bitcoin down to $7,000. Uh, mind you, we're over 9,000 today. I'll get to the, the, you know, more precisely where it's at in just a moment here. But you're talking about a drop, a pretty notable drop if that if that's to occur, over $2,000 for Bitcoin. Uh, probably wouldn't be great price-wise for the entire crypto asset class if I had to guess. But um, please note, I am not a financial advisor. Okay, No financial background here whatsoever. Um, I'm just an enthusiastic member of the XRP community that likes running this YouTube channel. It's my most favoritist hobby ever. <clears throat> and... Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't buy yourself because of me. And also, go ahead and, uh, if you would please, delicately tap that like button. I would definitely appreciate the support. It'll uh, you know, put me uh, in a better position re in regards to the YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing if you've not. Because if you do subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel, that is scientifically proven that you will be a happier and better person for it. All right, so you've got uh, XRP. As I record this at 19.3 cents, Bitcoin's at 9,152, and you've got the crypto asset class, uh, the market cap at $267 billion. So, uh, so what are they talking about here with this headline? XRP rival has incredible potential. Uh, Ethereum and altcoins set to outpace Bitcoin, says top crypto analyst. Uh, and we're talking about, uh, by the way, this guy, we're talking about Peter Brandt. And I don't doubt at all that he's actually a skilled trader, been doing this for decades, he has quite the storied career, as it were. But uh, he hates Ripple and XRP, and I suspect at this point I've seen enough from him that uh, it's at a minimum uh, affecting what he puts out in the world regarding Ripple and XRP. And if, uh, you know, I, I, hopefully he's being genuine even when he puts negative stuff out, but it's, it's always negative. He doesn't put positive stuff out there, so it's affecting the type of news he's putting out. He's being rather selective when he's talking about Ripple and XRP. He doesn't want to ever seem to talk about potential upside about, not that I've seen anyway. And so veteran trader Peter Brandt says XRP rival Stellar Lumens has incredible potential and could be the next altcoin to see significant price action. Now, I'd rather stop right there for just a moment because, look, ever since I entered this freaking space, November of 2017, and entered the world of crypto, people have been talking about how Stellar Lumens is the rival of XRP. Maybe that's because... Uh, Stellar is a modified clone of XRP, quite literally, and, you know, created by, you know, one of the co-creators of XRP, so Jed McCaleb. And so maybe that's part of it. But as far as the way XRP is being positioned, I, you know, I don't see Stellar Lumens being positioned in the same way. I just don't. So it, it, this concept of it actually being some sort of notable rival or a rival at all, um, I, I question that, you know. Uh, unless I'm actually missing something, but I just don't ever freaking see it. That's, uh, you can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. That moon Lambo, that idiot stick, just laying on me. Uh, uh, Stellar Lumens is the native cryptocurrency of the Stellar Payment Network, which aims to connect banks, financial institutions, payment systems, and individuals for fast and secure cross-border transactions. Um, and I understand that does sound conceptually similar, but I don't see I'm, I'm, when I'm when I say an actual rival, I'm talking about in practice what is happening. I'm not seeing it. But, um, XLM is currently trading at about 0 0.095 uh, cents. Uh, how about that? I didn't check the price of Stellar for a hot minute. I don't even think it's in the top ten anymore. But anyway, at the time of writing and uh, and has uh, has gained nearly fifty percent in value since the end of last month. Interesting. 
So it must have been closer to $0.05. Cents. And according to Brandt, the 14th largest cryptocurrency by market cap may just be getting started. And so here's the tweet from Peter Brandt. Is XLM stellar lumens to be the next altcoin to pump? And then there's this tweet from somebody named Wolf Overclocked who wrote, I'm not sure about the correlation on United States dollar and Bitcoin pairs or alts uh, since I trade only on Bitcoin pairs, as you know. But recently, XLM also cleared a one-year rectangle breakout. I'm holding a position on it. And Peter Brandt responded, great chart. Thanks for posting this incredible potential with the pattern. Now, I suspect, so like, obviously, this is a, an XRP-centric channel, no question there, but um, I, I do hold some some Stellar that I purchased in 2017, but, um, you know, as of January 1st, 2018, they're like, I have purchased nothing but XRP. Uh, the reason for that being, I think that utility ultimately matters more than anything. I'm not interested in being a trader. I just want to hold for the long haul. And so if anything comes of anything I bought prior to that, super duper, but I'm not seeing any sort of notable adoption with Stellar. I just happen to hold it, whatever. I bought it when I knew substantially less than I did today. And I'm just like, well, whatever, I'll just, I'll just keep it. If it, goes, if it goes to zero, whatever, I just don't care. But I'm sure that some of you listening out there um, also hold other coins, perhaps including Stellar. Um, and, and, you know, p place, place your bets if you want to, you know. I'm not going to tell her it's, it's a good or bad idea. Uh, I, but I will say, for the long haul, I'm much more interested in those cryptocurrencies that you can see are actually being adopted in the, the real world. And for me, it's simply XRP. I just don't really see it anywhere else. Which is astonishing considering there are over 5,000 freaking cryptocurrencies. But, but there you go. But, uh, Brant, who gained fame in crypto circles calling for Bitcoin's big collapse in January of 2018 also says he expects Ethereum and most altcoins to outpace Bitcoin in the short term. And here's a quote. Significant breakout in ETH slash BTC with target of 0 0.03276. Most alts should gain on Bitcoin in near future. <gasps> Even XRP? Could it be XRP? Uh, last week, crypto YouTuber Nicholas Merton, I like that guy, uh, said he believed a new altcoin season had officially arrived after the collective market broke a key line of resistance against Bitcoin. But Binance CEO CZ uh, says traders should not expect the entire altcoin market to rise without reason. And here's a tweet from him, and this is from July 7th, and I actually covered this when it was brand new. But uh, he wrote, wrote the following, Not all alts will pump during the next alt season. If a project has been around for three years but not much to show for, then a few that have uh, consistently pushed development will thrive. Hashtag Biddle, B-U-I-D-L. And we'll see. I mean, I don't know that during the next major rally, all are going to rise. I, I don't pretend to know if it's, if it's going to actually look different, but the concept of an alt season to me seems to still make sense. Just my humble opinion uh, from your everyday Joe Schmo here. Um, next, XRP could accelerate lower. A uh, chart resembles Bitcoin's October high. Now, last week, uh, XRP saw its first large bout of bullish price action in over a month. Following the lead of a swath of other altcoins, the prominent cryptocurrency spiked by approximately 10% in a single day, passing the crucial resistance of, uh, of 20 cents. And of course, that prompted parades in the streets and increased cases of COVID, right? Uh, many traders responded to this move with optimism. Charts showed that with the rally past 20 cents, XRP had broken above a number of crucial resistance levels. Unfortunately for holders of the altcoin, Though uh, the bullish strength did not last for long. As of the time of this article's writing, the cryptocurrency trades for 19.2 cents, down almost 3% in the past 24 hours. Analysts expect the asset to continue to slide lower uh, should bulls fail to reclaim nearby technicals uh, support levels. Uh, now, according to crypto trader Sean Nance, XRP's inability to retake crucial technical levels around 20 cents will lead to the asset's medium-term demise from a technical standpoint. Uh, referencing the chart below, which shows the technical importance of the region around 20 cents, Nance wrote the following. Um, XRP reminds me a bit of the Bitcoin top in October 2019. Uh, structures like this one keep my bullishness grounded just a, a bit. Uh, we need to claim the mid-range in POC to follow blue path. If we keep trending down, then we would accelerate to the downside. Now, um, I don't know anything about this particular individual, but the way that he's writing about this doesn't strike me as a trollish type of maneuver here. It just seems to be a genuine opinion from a trader. That's just the way it struck me anyway. But um, 
you know, it's, it's not just XRP where we're talking about potential downside action. And frankly, I, I mean, to me, if, if, if what comes true, uh, you know, if this comes to pass, and what, ha- what is written about in the headline of this article from Bitcoinist.com comes to pass, I, I would tend to think, I don't care what your cryptocurrency is, it's probably going to go down. This one's titled, Bitcoin just broke a crucial level, opening the gates for a move to $7,000. And so I'm just going to, rather than go through the whole article, there's just a few key points at the top that I'll just mention. I think you get the gist of it from there. Uh, Number one, Bitcoin and the aggregated cryptocurrency market are currently flashing some signs of weakness. Two, this comes close on the heels of yesterday's widespread Twitter breach that caused many major accounts to shill a scam in which they requested Bitcoin from their followers. By the way, I do have an update. I'm going to put out another video uh, today about that. I've got an update. and We've got some more information about what actually happened and why. Uh, Number three now, Uh, although this certainly isn't bad for Bitcoin from a technical or fundamental perspective, it may degrade the public's uh, trust in the digital asset. Number four, some analysts are now noting that the latest decline has caused Bitcoin to break its Ichimoku cloud uh, support, which is the best Pokemon, the Ichimoku cloud. Uh, number f- um, that's not in Pokemon. That's the, that's the joke. Number five. This suggests jokes are funny when you have to explain them. Uh, number five. This suggests the crypto is poised to plunge towards seven thousand dollars in the near term. So uh, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. I've heard all sorts of doomsday doomsday scenarios that never came to pass, and I've also heard all sorts of positive rallies that never came to pass. But uh, you've, you've kind of seen a blend, uh, at least as long as I've been, you've seen a blend of up and down action. Uh, been in a bear market for a substantial portion of this time, but that's not surprising given the massive run-up that you saw in 2017. So like, from my perspective, I, I never, just, again, me not being a trader, uh, I remember thinking at the beginning of 2018, as I was still learning about all this stuff, I, I remember thinking, I just... I can't imagine with the bit I'd learned at that point is like I can't imagine the crypto market is going to come back to back anytime soon. I mean, maybe I was thinking that more so around like April and May it was, it was it was beginning to crash more. But I was like, if this is the true pop and it it was, uh, then I just I can't see how this wouldn't take years and years and years for there to even be an opportunity for for a lot of these cryptos to get back up there. Just kind of a gut feeling that I that I had about all of this. But I thought, hey, you, you never know, things could rally back sooner. But uh, for me, I don't care because and then only only in the sense that I'm going to be patient regardless. So in that sense, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to sit here and wait. And uh, what, whatever price action happens in the short to medium term, I'm not going to get emotional about it and choose to buy or sell based on that. So that's that's just how I choose to roll. But uh, that is it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.